Welcome to CFC Fan TV. I'm delighted to be joined by the one and only Charlie the Hurricane Skillen. We are yes, here at Stamford Bridge and we've just played on that glorious turf. So and I exciting. lifted silverware. He didn't, I did. Yes. Uh, it was I'm, an incredible I, I, experience. I remember coming up through the tunnel and they were like, and the champions, and I just saw his horrible little mug. <laughs> yeah, I was over Celebrating. the moon. Oh, I was yeah, gutted, no feeling gutted, like it. So gutted. happy. Um, and yeah, it was nice to see a bit of glory on that pitch because, well, you know, Huddersfield's still very, very oh, fresh in the yeah, memory, definitely. isn't it? Yeah, I mean, look, it was it was a pathetic performance, and more than anything, I was disgusted with the team selection, really, and just. I it, just can thought, I play devil's advocate here? I don't think that Conte got it right, but no. the team that he's put out should still be capable of beating a Huddersfield team, shouldn't it? Yeah, of course, but that's a Huddersfield team fighting for their lives. It, it's come after four games where we've played very well with a certain system and certain players, and then we could just completely rip that shred for reasons that I still cannot fathom. No, I can't quite understand it. And also, mm. I just sort of think, what are you resting players for? No. There's two games of the season left. Don't rest anyone now, surely. Everyone's going to go on holiday for a month. They're going to be in their villas in Ibiza. Yeah. Everything's that's fine, that. but make sure you qualify for the Champions League first. Top four was always going to be a struggle after the, after the winter we had, but we had to put it in our own hands by winning our last two games and, and drawing against Huddersfield is, is completely unacceptable. Yeah, I completely agree. So we have to look forward. We're going to Newcastle. Before we talk about that, I just want to run something past you. So I have some wonderful news. We are delighted to have partnered with Betball for this video and it's a great app, so make sure that you download it right now. Charlie, you've been studying the app, you've been studying the form. You're a man who knows what he's talking about when it comes to football. What bets are we going for on this Betball app? Right, we're doing a Premier League fourfold for the last game of the season. Um, not a lot of the games mean anything, so there could be a few surprises. Obviously, we're going Chelsea to win at Newcastle. I'm going to go Arsenal to beat Huddersfield in Wenger's last game. I'm going to go for... Can I pick one? Go on. I'm going to go for Brighton to beat Liverpool. That would be amazing. Yes. And if Chelsea beat Newcastle, you know what that means? We're in the top four. And my last one, purely because... Well, I saw them play the other day and they play very well and they're playing against Tottenham. I'm going to go Leicester to win at Spurs. Oh, mate. Fingers crossed that happens. Bet Balls have got independent tips as they do daily challenges worth from 20 quid to a whole grand. Oh, a grand would be beautiful. And remember, if you place a bet, the bet has to be at least fourfold. Go and follow the bet for your chance to win £100 cash. Happy Can't say days. no to that, can you? Happy days. Do us a favour. Please, please, go and download using the link in the description. Make sure that you get this app. The link is in the description below. It's the last Premier League week and the World Cup's coming up. You don't want to miss out. We've had a quick repo. We wanted to get a bit closer to the stadium. Um, so Newcastle away, it's not a ground that we've done particularly well on. I can remember us winning the league there when I was about, oh God, it's got to be over, over what, 15 years ago now? Mm. We went up there, we drew. It was the only ground that Mourinho never won at, I think, when he was is our manager. Right? Yeah, I believe so. Um, it just didn't quite work out for us. I can remember that terrible year we had, Ramirez scoring a thunderbolt at St James's Park. Well, you, you know the thing I'm really not looking forward to, especially having just actually ran everyone ragged at Stamford Bridge, is those stairs to the away yes. end. Oh, my God. It's, it, it's my only exercise of the year, that, going to Newcastle yeah, away. it's hard. It's yeah. hard. Do you, know, do you know, I can remember, I'm just thinking of, like, victories at St James's. Yeah. I can remember Idika Johnson scoring two. I went up there. I was at university at the time. I went up there and, uh, yeah, because I think we won 2-1, Idika Johnson scored. But generally speaking, it hasn't been a ground that's been particularly generous to us, is it? No, no. Look, it's, it, it's a very hard place to go, you know, and all the, all the cliches about Newcastle support and the Gallagher end, they are true. Yeah. You know, it, it is a big club with a, with a passionate support. and Benitez will be out to scupper us as yeah, well. Yeah, oh, God. I've, I've stopped mentioning his name on our channel. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's, it's going to be a tough game. Obviously, what I want to see, I want to see the team that won four in a row play again. I want us to get really, really ready for the cup final the following weekend. I think that's what we're going to do, yeah. though, isn't it? We're going to go into this game and make it all about the cup final. The yeah, way that we set up, the way that we play, everything that we do is going to be all geared around the cup final. Clearly. And, uh, I mean, for, for me, that means Giroud up front with Hazard just behind. It means playing three in the middle with Bakayoko, Kante and Fabregas. And, um, you know, obviously we've got to win the game. And look, if Brian beat Liverpool, as, as they probably will now we bet on them, um, yes. then, then obviously that would be absolute dreamland. But more than anything, I think it's go out there, do a professional job, sort out what we're going to do for the cup final, which is going to be a really tough game against, you know, a Mourinho team. And we all know Jose Mourinho in cup finals. He doesn't really tend to lose them. Well, this so. is a problem. You've got a man who doesn't lose cup finals against a man who hasn't won one. Yeah, I don't want to Looking forward to it? <laughs> Wembley. Um, 
It's going to be tough. It it's is. really going to be it tough. It is. But fingers crossed we can get back to winning ways mm. against Newcastle at St. James's Park. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you to Betball for uh, sponsoring it for us. And make sure that you click the link to Betball. It's in the description below. Go on, you blaze.